everyone, and welcome to OVW Overdrive, the show that always kicks out at two. I am your host, Brian Kinnison. With me, as always, king of the fanny packs and Casanova of the closed down Burger King that lost most of its letters, which is called the Burg now, has become an unauthorized nightclub, Stephen Johnson. Happy to be here. I'm sad that I'm away from the Berg. The Berg is my home, but my second home is right here in OVW, here at Overdrive, and we have got one hell of a show lined up for you. Folks, an incredible main event. We're going to see real one going one-on-one -on -one against the one who wants you to see him, Orion. I really want to do the real one dance, but I know the cameraman's going to get so hot if I do. I'm going to shake every... And I can... And I, I'm going to go ahead and speak for our audience here. No one wants to see you dance. Which, despite but, your dance in Stevie J, it's, my name. it's an ironic nickname, like when you call a big guy Tiny. I'm going to do it. But speaking of Tiny, no Tiny interview here today, folks. I'm going to sit down with one superior Tony Evans. And look, I feel like we got off on a bad foot. Tony and I, a uh, bit of a rocky relationship at best. So I think today, today I can really bring Tony and I back together. Speaking of which, I was talking with Al earlier, and he, was, he gave me some of the questions that he wanted you, I don't know why he gave them to me and not to you. Al never gives us questions for the interviews. I know, there were certain questions that he wanted you to ask in particular. I haven't looked it over yet, we'll, we'll go over it, but just know that. Cool. Sure, yeah, I mean, right. I mean, if Al wants me to ask certain questions, I'm sure there's a reason for it. But folks, let's go ahead and get into our first match so we can see the rest of the show as well. That's right, we're talking about women's tag team action. Micah Madrid and TT taking on Chalance Royale and Ari Alexander with Carson Drago ringside. Let's get into the action. Introducing first being accompanied to the ring by the most successful man in professional wrestling, Carson Drake. The team of the Fighting Sirens, Chalance Royale and Guitari. Chalance Royale and Guitari. Ari Alexander being flanked by Carson Drake. Out here for tag team competition in the OW Women's Division. And, and once again, uh, what is it about Carson Drake that, uh, that that draws people to him? Like, is, is, it, is it the money? Is he paying them? Like, what's happening, Linda? He does provide some money, whether that's his own or if it's provided to him. That we'll have to find out. And their opponents, the team of Micah Madrid and Island Girl, TT. Micah Madrid returning here to OVW, teaming up with TT, the Island Girl. You know, I think uh, Guitari and Shalante are going to have their hands full tonight. Yes, the team of Shalante and Guitari, fairly new, but we also have a brand new tag team we see night with Mike and with TT. Yeah, that we do. And you know, this might be one of those uh, nights where it all just clicks. You know, we've yeah. seen that happen in the past with Tusk and Chains. Yes. You know, we saw Great it initially example. with the Destroyers. Big Zoe and Big Beef. Oh yeah. You know, and Guitari oh. doesn't look too happy. See Mike and oh, Madrid, oh. you know, we saw in the uh, OVW Women's Rumble, Mike and Madrid had a strong showing. Now with her being back, you've got to know that she wants to capitalize and remind everyone just exactly who she is. Absolutely. Look at that display put on by Micah, welcoming herself back here at Davis Arena. Again, you mentioned we last saw her at this year's Women's Nightmare Rumble, making quite a statement and hoping to continue to make that statement here in the women's division. Yeah, you would think. Now Titi in there, double Irish whip and a double back elbow. Just wiping out Guitari. You know, Shalance not too happy about that on the outside, watching her tag team partner just get uh, tossed around in there. Ooh. Cover referee Shane Chess, always on point. That he is. You know, we have Shalance and Guitari here with Carson Drake at ringside. Gotta wonder, will he be a factor in this match? Well, Carson Drake tries to be a factor no matter where he is in anything, even stuff that he shouldn't be factored into. Oh! The guitar, he just absolutely leveled that shoulder tackle. Mikey goes for the cover. One count only. It's like Carson is trying to get himself in this match a little bit, and, you know, he is the self-dubbed most successful man in pro wrestling. I mean, oh, he's got the ladies. That, that's got to 
show something to that statement. Yeah, and there you see Shalonsa oh. oh, getting involved and just laces Micah Madrid with a punch. And now Guitari oh. comes in, single foot drop kick, catches her right in the mouth. Sounds like the crowd here is not happy with that, with Carson and with Shalonsa and Guitari. They're definitely giving it to them. Crowd all over them. You're right. And you know, Carson Drake's. Uh, do you call them friends if you're paying them to hang around you? <laughs> I guess you can. Just uh, depends on the way you look at it. But I are, suppose. Where are his acquaintances? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Oh, Shalante with a hard shot to the midsection. I was to say, Carson cheering his friends on at ringside. Well, what he's doing is definitely working. Just the past couple of weeks, seeing how Shalance and Katari have been juggling, as we just talked about. We're seeing that right now on display. Oh, and look at oh. that, Katari. Now with that choke, the referee doesn't see it. She's got that locked in. Oh. As Carson Drake just cheeses at ringside. TT anxious to get back in and help out Micah. I mean, she's seeing what's happening here in these games, physical and mind games. Now Katari. Rolls through with that snapmare. We've seen her do this time and time oh. again. She swings through with that big kick. Katari talking a little bit of trash there. And not something you want to do when you got Mike Madrid in the ring. You want to keep the pressure on her the entire time. If not, she gets a moment oh. to get an opening. And she's going to try to run wild on you, but it's hard to do when you're getting choked out. And in that corner where you've got Guitari, you've got Carson. Oh, and that strong strike by Shalance. And Carson Drake seeing a camera beside him. Obviously has to oh, take his face. Oh, oh my goodness. Just drop Shalance like a bad habit. Wow. Snapmare Shalance comes off the oh. ropes. Drop kick to the face of Micah. Now goes for the cover here. Two. Wow, that came out of nowhere. That it did. Shalance not happy in any way, shape, or form with the fact that Mike Madrid was trying to mount a little bit of offense. Now a little bit of a double team action there from Guitari and Shalance. Short snap suplex cover again. Not gonna be enough to keep Mike Madrid down. Micah so close to her corner, so close to tagging in her tag partner, TT. Oh, Ooh. big hits of Guri there. Madrid, Looks she sees like the opening. tips away. Can she do it? She does. She makes the tag. TT comes in. She is legal. Ducks under, and here we go. Oh. Oh, TT and Shalance. Forearms over and over again from TT. Oh. The Island girl is rolling. Hey. Man. Yeah, she caught that big wave of momentum and she's gonna ride it all the way through. Oh, what was, oh my goodness. Irish whip, TT with that, that innovative side slam that we've seen out of her before. It looks like she's got Shalance position. She gonna hang 10 here? Getting she's got that position. leg locked in, yep, yep, yep. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Carson Drake. I knew it. Carson knew Drake it. ejecting himself where he doesn't belong. It looks like Shalance in a bad way here. But in comes Guitari. TT doesn't see her. Shalance, that waist lock. Oh. Huge German suplex. Oh, referee out of position, distracted by Drake. Didn't see oh. it. Oh, what? Guitari and Shalance Royale. Guitari and Shalance managed to pick up the win here, but you have to give the assist to Carson Drake. There you have it, ladies and germs. Big win for Shalance Royale and Ari Alexander, or sorry, Guitari. My bad. And you know that Carson Drake might have had something to do with that at ringside. Carson Drake, the most successful man in wrestling, spreading that successful nature to Shalance and Ari here. Now, really quick question for you, though. What's your favorite Shalance Royale song? All of them. There it is. Mm -hmm. Great A kiss up. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Stick around after the back. Oh, sorry. Stick around after the break. I, it's suck upness. It's, it sucked me up, and I've, I'm this vacuum of vapidness. 
All right, but folks, stick around after the break. We're going to take a look at OVW Rise last week and then the week that was. Don't go anywhere more. OVW Overdrive on the way. You pulled me down with you? Yeah, brother. It's, 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 it's cold an, down here. It's an abyss. Cold. Out on the frontier where loyalty is hard to come by, a double cross can leave you staring down the barrel of a six-shooter. In a land where every handshake hides a secret agenda, trust is a luxury few can afford. And I know you're the dirty dog that double-crossed me. OVW presents Double Crossed. Live on pay-per-view Thursday, May 2nd. Order now at ovwrestling.com. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. I'm not saying you're bad at this, and I don't want you to take that as I'm that. not. I'm but you great do, at this. You doing this yeah. is like peeing at the side of your toilet and thinking you're cleaning it. Well, it depends on what's on the side of the toilet. Sometimes you are cleaning it. You know what I mean? And just like that, prove my point. Folks, welcome back to OVW Overdrive. We're going to take a look at the OVW rise that was last week and see if, what an OVW rise it was. And we are starting with Star Rider versus a returning Coda Jacobs. That's right, Star Rider and Coda Jacobs here at OVW. Don't know why I said it back to back like that. Again, one more time, Star Rider. Peeing at the side of the toilet. Coda Jacobs. I'm great at this. You suck butt at this. Speaking of great at this, Star Rider picking up a huge win. But that wasn't all. That was a quick match for Coda Jacob. You got to think he wanted to come back to take a, a little bit longer at least. But hey, you know what took a little bit longer? This tension that's boiling in the Bad Girls Club. We saw Layla say, Tiffany, you're heading the team in this six-woman tag this week. And she went out there and faced Freya the Slayer in the American Sweethearts with Hema and Dream Girl Ellie. And see, it, it, tension brewing throughout. The Bad Girls Club cannot seem to get on the same page. And who is there at the desk? The commentary justice to make sure things stayed on. Uh, on the tracks, as it were, Hollywood Haley. You, no, you're not, not you. It wasn't me. Holly no, Haley. it wasn't me. Hollywood Haley J made her way out there. Is that right? I, I mean, she could take my position. She was just as good, if not better, than I ever was at commentary and in the ring. But you saw the Bad Girls Club taking on Freya and the All-American Sweet Chucks, who are rising to the tops here at OVW. So your response tells me is that you didn't watch the show, and now you are doing like a book report over a book you didn't read, and you're just trying to fill space. Did they not name themselves after Sweet Chuck from Police Academy? I swear to God. So yes, the Bad Girls Club actually picked up the big win. Layla interfered, and then Haley came down to try to play equalizer, but there was a little bit of miscommunication, as has been uh, the theme throughout this rivalry. And we are headed towards now Double Cross, where there will be a fatal, or sorry, a four corners tag team match. It's still fatal. It can be fatal, right? Yeah. The alliteration's there. I'm going to need you to take a breather. So speaking of almost fatal, Steve, let's talk about the most dangerous parking lot in all of professional wrestling. I'm talking about Davis Arena, folks. We have seen so many people run down with cars, attacks galore, and this week was no exception. Cash flow is on his way to train here, jumped by those mysterious men in black. Hey, I've tripped over speed bumps in this thing time after time, but I'm, I'm usually not watching where I walk. Anyways, brilliant analysis. Anyways, later in the night, Shira took on Omar Amira. See, they rhyme. Whether whether they rhyme or not, they rhyme. Shira versus Omar Amira. Shira able to pick up a win, but at the end of the night, he did not look like a winner. Now, beaches and cream as they want to do. Saw the opportunity to attack like a pack of hyenas. The numbers game overpowered Shira and Omar, and Luscious Lawrence left the Indian Lion Lane. And you got to wonder, what does this mean for the Golden Lions in the tag team division moving forward? So it's like a hyena, like a hyena. This is like, hey, hey, I'm a hyena. Hey, no. No? Okay. Folks, we had a whole nother hour of OVW rise after that, and He's the action purple. just... Like Grimace. He's grimacing right now. Hote Peso, OVW Rush Division Champion, went one-on-one -on -one with Tony Evans with Jay Niro at ringside. Jay Niro, clearly, clearly still having issues with Hote Peso. Uh, look, identity theft is not a joke. So Jay De Niro might be a little justified in that, but him interfering in the matchup, there's no call for that. So Star Rider, Hota Pesos's, uh, Pesos's? Pesos's, that's right. Pesos. Yeah. Hota Pesos' opponent for Double Cross, Star Rider, came out to try to help out Hota, but actually inadvertently ended up costing the Rush Division champion the match. Tony Evans walking away victorious. 
Hota Peso walking away with a bit of an injury, Steve. That's right. He is having his knee looked at. He could have some significant damage, and we will have that information to you as soon as we get it. But at the end of the day, Tony Evans, once again, a championship holder here in OVW. Nope. Didn't win a championship. Again, this is you filling in the book report that you have a book you didn't read. He won the... What am I missing? Okay, so still your Rush Division champion, folks, but he is going to get looked at. His leg is going to get examined, and we're going to see exactly the extent of his injury. We'll keep you updated as we have news about the Rush Division champion's injury or potential injury. Are you sure? you got to watch the show, Did man. you? Just I don't. Stay with, I need you to stay with me. I feel me. like you're misremembering. This last one's very important. I need you to stay with me, okay? All right. In our main event, I'm, I'm, the, it comes at the end because it's... Tony I'm the, Gunn. I'm the main event. Defended the OVW Rush. Nope. See, nah. yeah, I could come at the beginning. You're making me suck butt. Okay. Come Tony Gunn defended the OVW Heavyweight Championship against Luke Curtis, a man who just the week before said, Tony, you're done. You're going to be lost to the annals of OVW history. This is my time. Luke Curtis set out on OVW Rise to make this the certified era in OVW. And so far, so good. Luke Curtis looking great as the new OVW heavyweight champion. And you know that he's using this, his mind, using this as a stepping stone, stepping stone, for not only the OVW national heavyweight championship, but he wants one more crack at EC3's NWA World's Championship. So Luke Curtis, he, he's, he's driving his way right towards that NWA World Championship. To your point, Steve, that both those that heavyweight championship, it's a key to the national heavyweight championship. That national heavyweight championship, a key to the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. But the key, some would argue, to Luke Curtis's victory, and again, I know you don't know. Mm -mm. Real I mean, yeah. one, real one made his presence felt after weeks of absence. Gonna do the dance. Came out and we're so close, don't do it. Came out and hit Tony Gunn with a rolled up belt. Knocked out the Arkansas Roughneck cold. And some people will say Luke Curtis might not have got that win with it. I'm revving up. Hurry! I'm just gonna, hold on. Ah! We'll be back with more OVW Overdrive, folks. Don't go anywhere. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Angeles, California, Leela Feist. Leela Feist pulling her way back into OVW just a few short weeks ago, Linda. Yes, the feisty one making her return to Davis Arena, making her way up the wings. From Albuquerque, New Mexico, Angelica Risk. We got to learn a little bit more about Angelica Risk last week on Overdrive Net Sit Down Interview, Josh. What a story. Yeah, what a fantastic story. And, you know, we're so happy to have Angelica Risk here in OVW. You know, things are going to get a little risky in there for Leela Feist. Feisty and risky tonight. Hey, you know what? A lot of wordplay going on. I'm here for it. But I can tell you one thing that's not going to be playing is Angelica Risk. So the moment that bell rings, she is going to be laser focused on Leela Feist. The moment that music hits, she's already laser focused. Yeah. Makes me move. There it is. Bell sounds. We are underway with this one. 
Again, we talked oh. about Leila Feist making her return. A couple of matches here we've called for her on Overdrive. Again, making her way up the ranks up the women's division, and now she's she's got quite a quite a challenger tonight for her. Can she do it? It's gonna, the, that's the a risky, spicy. Remember, spicy. Yeah. On Helica Risk. One spicy quesadilla, I tell you that. And Helica Risk, she knows what's up. She knows what it takes. Whoa. Oh. She knows what it takes to get things done in this ring, and she is not going to let the mind games of Leela Feist oh. get in her way. Huge shot from Risk. You know, a little bit of a West Coast rivalry maybe between these two. Mm. You know, you, you got to wonder about things like that. Feist, though. Oh! Strong cross body, and now Risk just raining down punches. Giving out strikes physically and giving some verbal strikes as well. Snap suplex takes over Feist. You know, it's going to wear down Lila mentally as well. Whoa, without a doubt. And you see how, how quickly Angelica Riss wanted to get into that pinfall. And that's, that's smart wrestling there. Not trying to give her any chance to get away. And now Feist hanging on for dear life in the ropes. Oh. Helica again, not giving Leela any breaks, but oh, Leela finding a break for herself right there. And Helica Riss down on the canvas. Vice with a shot to the edge of the jaw. Mm. Second one, little looked like it was almost right behind the ear. That's very painful as well, if you ever, I know you have, but. Oh yeah. Strike there. Mm. Oh. God, getting hit behind the ear is one of the worst things. It just scrambles your whole brain. It's a different type of pain, but the pain right now, then Helica Risk is feeling is it coming from her lower back. Mm. A shot hard into that corner, but oh. hang on, Risk now. Starting to try to get a little, min little bit of momentum on her side. Goes to that cross body, but Leela's Vice had it scouted. Oh! Swings her through into a backbreaker. Still working on that lower back. You know, and that's that's smart. If you can take that lower back out, you take away a lot of the power game. The base is pretty much gone, Linda. I was gonna say, smart move there by Leela. Working on the throat. She's hitting every target. And Helica, though, not giving up. She gives us that strong will, that fight. I don't think she's gonna give up right here, no. And. Ooh. Another big shot to the jaw. Swing and a miss by Feist. Now in Helica Risk, the shoulder tackles wiping her out. Taking the fight to Leela Feist. Uh, I think Leela Feist tried to catch her for a uh, tilt world slam maybe. But hang on, at 5.05. Oh, yeah. Right to the face. Quick kick to the midsection. She's got her scooped up. Oh! oh. Little bit of a scorpion death drop into a roll of the dice. And Helicaris picks up the victory. Your winner, Angelica Riz. Big win for Angelica Risk as she is moving her way up the ladder here in the OVW Women's Division. Absolutely. Bringing us that unique offense in that 505. Gotta love it here at Davis Arena. I wanna scream at you. It's, I'm, not, I'm not mad at you. I'm adjusting. Like a stepfather in a new home. You, you understand that. I'm hard of hearing. I didn't even hear it. He screamed. How did you marry two women? I don't understand it. Folks. What a match we saw between two women, and Helica Risk and Leela Feist. And but hey. not, not the two women that I married. We need to make that clear. That's absolutely clear. However, and Helica Risk, clearly the winner in this contest. And again, guys, one of my new favorite additions to the OVW roster, picking up a huge win here. Now, speaking of my favorite additions to the OVW roster, a little chance at redemption. After the break, I'm going to sit down with Superior Tony Evans. I think we're going to... The questions. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so these are, so. this is what Al wants me to ask. <laughs> yeah, brother, weird, I mean, never, I don't... He doesn't do Just look. All right, yeah. Yeah. It's his handwriting, too. I, I promise you. Looks it's like not a me. dying man jotting down his last words, but are you sh 
This is I know he's not a doctor, but he writes like one. Tony Evans is gonna get mad at me if I ask this. I'm pissed. Stick around, folks. Said interview with Superior Tony Evans after the break. I can't even say that word on television. Sure you can. Ninety percent of natural sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. Hello everyone, welcome back to OVW Overdrive. Please welcome my guest at this time, Superior Tony Evans. Superior Tony Evans. What? I'm gonna start over. Welcome my guest at this time, Superior Tony. Hush. Tony, I can't hush the entire time. We're supposed to talk about you. Hush. Okay, I'm gonna go up top then. We'll go a little north here. Jay De Niro, let's talk to you then. Now, Jay, you are a powerful specimen of a man, a superstar in your own right. Well, why are you the right hand of Tony Evans instead of like branching out on your own? Mm -hmm. What? Okay, now I'm uncomfortable. Okay. <clears throat> Tony Evans. Yes. You good God, are an incredible competitor. Yes. And you started out 2024 great. You won back that Country Boy Brewing OVW Kentucky Heavyweight Championship. Yes. Incredible start to the year. But since then, some valleys, some dips and valleys in the career, people would say. Maybe some losses. How does that feel to start the year on such a high and then to dip? Not solo. I'm not going to say solo, but to dip lower. Mm. Hush. Mm -hmm. Good call. Are you serious? I've been told Hush. not. You're going to bring me on here and you're going to insult me right out of the gate? Insult me. Did I say speak? Hush. You're gonna bring me here, say I had a great start to the year, and then you're gonna say that I tanked, I hit valleys. Are you me? Speak. Okay. Um, you know Hush. What? Okay. I don't take kindly to that. That's insulting to me. I am superior to you. I am superior to each and every one of you, and I'm superior to anybody that wants to stand across the ring for me. Is that clear? I understand. Tony, I understand. And you know what, I, I think it's fair that you have a very high opinion of yourself. And to that point, let's get on to a different subject. You call yourself superior. Hush. Okay. You said opinion. It's a fact. I am better. I am head and shoulders better. That is superior. It's me. It's not a catchphrase. It's not a gimmick. It's me. It's who I am. So anytime you want to address me in the future, you will refer to me as Superior Tony Evans, and you will put respect where it's deserved. Is that clear? Yes. I didn't bring you here to insult you. I have nothing but respect for you. But I will say you is Superior Tony Evans. You make point. You're better, you, you've proved that you're better than a lot of wrestlers here. Your championship reign speaks for itself. And I say this, I swear to God, with all due respect. You lost that championship. You lost the opportunity to be the first ever Country Boy Brewing OVW media champion. And as a man who deserves to be at the top of the card, rightfully so, 
How does that make you feel to miss that opportunity? Miss that opportunity. You bring me here to mock me. No. All you've done since I sat in this stool is mock me, make fun of me, point out where I have been cheated. OVW management, Mick Foley, Cal Hero, all of them are against me. I have done nothing but go through person after person on my way to the top. And you can bet your ass that's right where I'm going, straight to the top. It's a travesty that I'm not there. But I'll tell you something, I'm on my way. I don't care who's in front of me. I don't care who stands in my way. I don't care what those idiots in the back wanna do to try and keep me from getting to the top. That's where I'm going, straight to the top. And if anybody, anybody has got anything to say about it, all it's gonna take is one of these. Oh my God! Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. That's what I thought. OEW is touring the country and it's your chance to see the superstars of wrestlers on Netflix live. Friday, April 26th, OBW comes to Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, and Marathon Music Works. Also on Friday, April 26th, as part of the Kentucky Derby Festival, it's our annual Run for the Ropes event down on the waterfront at the Chow Wagon. Thursday night, May 2nd, it's Double Crossed from the waterfront of downtown Louisville. Live on pay-per-view, get in free to the event with your Derby Festival Pegasus pin. And Friday, May 31st, OVW is headed north for the very first time to Des Plaines, Illinois. The Des Plaines Theater, bell time there at 8 p.m. Then on Saturday night, June 8th, a huge event in Pikeville, Kentucky for a very special live first ever pay-per-view event from the Appalachian Wireless Arena. You can get those tickets at OVWTix.com right now. It's the first ever OVW National Tour presented by Danos. Get your tickets now and experience OVW live. Introducing first from Fort Valley, California, the Vision Orion! Orion making his way out here for your OVW Overdrive main event. And Linda, that dark side of Orion, we've seen taking over more and more here recently. You gotta wonder, is that dark side about to get lit up? by the real one. Mm. Oh, well, we shall see right now. And his opponent, he is from Hackensack, New Jersey, the real one. You're supposed to say terrible. You know why? Because you're in Kentucky. Do I really gotta reinvent the wheel out of here? I don't think I do. You wanna know how I knew I was in the OVW arena today? When I walked out here right now and it smelled like every one of you people farted at the same damn time. Smells like Kentucky, but don't worry, cause everybody knows a fart is a wish that your butt makes. And with all these buttholes out here, it looks like this wish came true. I'm back, people. And you know why, punk? You said why? Well, I'll tell you one thing, it definitely ain't because I'm coming for Orion's belt. Oh no, hell no, because Orion ain't got no belt. No, that's right, you come out here blind, dog. You come out here blindfolded? What, bro, you know, you don't want to see me? 
Okay, well, I got news for you, pal. I can walk it like I talk it, blindfolded, because I know who I am and I know where I'm going. And that's straight through you for a phony gun. Strong words out of real one. Making his return here to Davis Arena, making quite a statement. Yeah, making a statement. He, he made it plain and clear who he wants. He wants OVW Heavyweight Champion Tony Gunn. A lot of unresolved issues between the two of them. You got to thank Orion. You know, you, you see him in a... Uh, He's in some familiar gear there, Linda. You gotta think he, he knows that Real One's been trying to scout him, be watching tape on him. Yeah. And he wants him to see some of his uh his Blanco Loco days. Maybe think that he's he's trying to play some mind games here mm. with Real One. Absolutely. You mentioned that dark side of Orion. So coming out with that blindfold, still letting us know what that vision is. I'm still grasping what the full vision from Orion is, but I mean, we're getting a good glimpse of that right now yeah, against real one. That we are, and you know, Orion feels like he's been overlooked for too long that, that others have, you know, seen past him to find brighter stars of the future, and Orion, you know, he shines brighter than just about anybody here in Davis Arena. Mm. So you see that side of headlock now, real one trying to control that leg, seeing if he can uh, possibly go for a, a high single leg takedown. Whatever it takes. And again, it's been weeks since we've seen a real one here at OEW. A lot of things to say, a lot of things to prove, including you mentioned it. He made it clear who is his target and what title. Oh, and look at that. He is looking for. No, you're absolutely right. A beautiful transition and counter there by, by real one going straight after the ankle of Orion. Trying to possibly mitigate that speed advantage mm. that Orion has going after that ankle there. Most definitely. Face oh. lock, quick roll up here. Two count only says Daniel Spencer, and look at this, real one right back on him, just like a bulldog swarming down on top of the, the back of the head of Orion. Talk about that speed, that agility from Orion. We're getting that as well from real one slowing down what we typically see from Orion. I think there's I mean, just a lot of effects mentally. I think the verbal, the talking has gotten to Orion because usually right now we see some high flying action from the vision, but will we get there? Will we get there tonight against the real one? That's a good question. That question's still waiting to be answered. Yeah, love him or hate him, old smack talker, Ooh. Skywalker, real one there. He, he can get it done in the ring. And look at that once again, counter and transition. Orion tried to go for a hip toss, real one. Took him into a side headlock takeover. It looked like Orion was trying to get a head scissors was, and real one yeah. bit the back of his thigh. That's, that's a good way to get out of it. Never really thought about that. Oh, there's some of that. Drop High kick from the vision. Action. And real one rolls to the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Out on the frontier, where loyalty is hard to come by, a double cross can leave you staring down the barrel of a six shooter. In a land where every handshake hides a secret agenda, trust is a luxury few can afford. And I know you're the dirty dog that double crossed me. OVW presents Double Crossed. Live on pay-per-view Thursday, May 2nd. Order now at ovwrestling.com. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling. The OVW Academy with Al Snow. The birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit ovwacademy.com and apply now. Real one makes his way back into the ring, Linda. And now he's got that waist lock on Orion. Yes, and again, just looking at Orion's visuals, giving us that vision that he typically, we don't typically see right now, just because I think it's the mental, the mind games that Real One really put forth 
in his return on the ramp. I mean, it, it was minutes of verbal assault. Yeah, you know, I, I think you're right there, and that might be why you're seeing Orion with that ground game, trying to keep uh, mm. keep real one off guard. You know, maybe real one expected him. Oh! Oh, good lord! Oh man! The back of the head of the vision just yanked right into that steel cable, and now real one just viciously punching down into the temple as Rabbit punches the back of the head. When you see you see Orion clutching at his arm there, he may have a little bit of a stinger, trying to get feeling back into oh. it. As he just slammed once again. Oh. An elbow across the chest, the point of that elbow going right into that shoulder joint. I mean, we had a clear view at that vicious shot there on the ropes. I mean, the back of the head, the back of the neck. You know, and we were just talking about that earlier tonight, Linda. Getting hit in the back of the head, it's a different kind of pain. It's so disorienting. Oh, and look at the disrespect oh. by real one. Continuing with what he started and still going at it. Oh. Follows it up with a leg drop. Goes for the cover. Maybe took a little bit too much time prancing there. Orion not giving up. I mean, again, this is a different challenge that Orion has gotten the past couple weeks, but oh, looks like he scouted that well. Oh, that he there's does. some offense from Orion. Sends real one flying. Oh, oh super kick, catches him right in the temple. Some more damage there to Orion. We already got the back of the head, top of the neck. And I got just about everything. Oh. Two count says referee Daniel Spencer. Now Orion in a dangerous position here, getting hung up in oh. that tree of woe. And I wonder what real one's got in mind here. Oh. He stomps away at that midsection. Trying to take the oxygen out of the body of Orion, take away that fuel. Oh. That engine's gonna slow. Real one. Oh! The sickening thud of just elbow, Man. shoulder, everything, right into the chest. Now, real one. Oh! Some more. Inverted DDT. Man hung up on the top rope. Oh! oh. Orion somehow managed to get his shoulder up. Again, Orion not giving up. He's got the Davis Arena crowd behind him, and can I, they carry him? I mean, not that kind of carry, but get him. I, yeah, I thought another. that was it. I mean, it's again. that second gear, right? Oh, absolutely. And Orion trying to show that second gear now. This is where he's most comfortable. It is desperation forearms, but real one. Lays a couple shots in of his own. Come about the top rope, like I said, but which way is this gonna go? Hang on, Orion rolls through. Oh, it looked like he was trying to go for a sunset flip. Oh! Slides through, German suplex just drills real one. Real one popping back to his feet. I think that was more out of instinct, just trying to scramble up. And I think the ropes are the only thing holding him in place. Orion charges through with that European uppercut. Snap mares his man out. Real one looks confused. I don't even think he knows where he's at right now. Right, and then again, we said this is where Orion's comfortable. Oh. Wow. Orion with that elbow drop. Ooh. Oh. Orion oh. with what would have been probably the biggest win of his career in OVW at, uh, up until this point, just if he could have pulled that off. Just milliseconds away from victory. Real one, again, trying to get back to his feet and just you see him collapsing down. They go Ryan with that German suplex. I think he had it right and had him scouted. And now going back up to that top rope, Orion plants real one. So much taken out of both men, giving it everything they got. Look and at the power some. of Orion. Orion flinging the body of Real One down into the canvas. Both men feeling the brunt of that, and I honestly don't know who got the worst. You know, Orion superplexing Real One down, and you've got to think all of the uh, 
The blows to the back of the head of the, that Orion has taken during the match. You've got to wonder if that, that came into play. Because now he's throwing those right hands to the jaw, but oh, oh real one. He's going to hook him up, take him down. Almost like a downward spiral there. Now a real one showing us what he can do in the top ropes. Oh, oh, oh what oh, a power wow. bomb counter by Orion! Oh. And somehow, some way, real one finds the wherewithal to kick out. What a match this is, Josh. Well, what a main oh. event of overdrive. Holy cow. The strength, the will from both men that never say die attitude. Ryan, quick roll up. Oh, I thought he was trying to go for a handful of tights. Real one ducks it. Oh! He defeat, that is it. Your winner, Real One. Real one nails him with that. It might as well just call it the one and done because when he hits it, it's all but over. There you have it, folks. Once again, huge win for Enzo. And I, I guess Rey Mysterio's slightly thicker and shorter brother has joined me here at commentary for some reason. I hate you so much. He wanted, he had to have those questions. Those are the Why questions Why you hate me, man? I'm just. Those are the questions he wanted. Don't shoot me, I'm just the piano player. You look good though. This is the best you've looked in a while. Is it, Steve? Your glasses is are fogging it, My out. face hurts. My face hurts, I haven't been able to hear out of this ear. It's killing me, I'll tell you. I swear to God. <clears throat> Okay, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining us this week on OVW Overdrive. I'm gonna go home and ice my face and we throw a raw piece of meat on it because it, in fact, looks like a raw piece of meat right now. Looks like a chewed up monkey anus. Yeah. Here, take the mask off. It looks like someone's take them. I could, I could tell it's swelling around your. It hurts. Come on. No, the, oh, the mask, mask is sticking Ew. to it. Oh, oh, Ew. god. Oh, oh. oh, gross. You look like a sad Freddy Krueger. I swear to God, what I had come out of me this morning.